Like many of us, the fallout from COVID-19 has been a tough battle for Terry Cockrell. I was quarantined for about the whole month of January this year. He heard about a new COVID-19 booster and is anticipating getting a shot. Well, I'm getting the age, I'm 62 now, and I heard it can really take a toll on an older person, so yeah, I will get it, definitely. The new booster, with versions from Moderna and Pfizer, was given emergency use authorization by federal regulators this week, with the final sign-off coming Thursday. The Moderna vaccine is approved for people 18 and older, while the Pfizer will be available for people 12 and up. According to Dr. Helmut Albrecht, an infectious disease expert with Prisma Health, this shot is different from other boosters because it includes protection from multiple variants. The previous vaccines just target the original version of COVID-19. They have not only the old strain that was used to always be in the vaccine, but also the newest strain, which we are seeing essentially in 100% of cases currently. According to Dr. Brennan Trexler with DHEC, these new vaccines could be available for people to take by the end of next week. Albrecht says they will probably be available from anywhere that has given out shots previously. This includes doctor's offices, vaccine sites, and hospital pharmacies. He adds that with the busy travel weekend coming up, people should be aware the virus is still out there and it isn't time to take our foot off the gas. Expect this to get even worse with the Labor Day travel weekend, so um, we're not done with this yet. Mara Sheehan is a student at USC and says she likely won't get the shot unless it's required by her school. And they're like, you need it to go into a classroom, then sure, sure thing, I'll get it, but if I don't need it, I'm not going to get it. <laughs> On an optimistic note, Albrecht says that with the ability to adapt the vaccine quickly, this new booster bodes well for the future of disease prevention. Now we have at least a technology that we can switch to follow that virus variation. Reporting in Columbia, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX. We're also hearing that from Prisma Health that if you have not had COVID-19 in the past two months or if you have not had a booster in six months, you should consider getting the shot. COVID-19 levels are on the rise in South Carolina. New data from the CDC shows that more than half of the state's counties have high community levels of the virus. That means high community spread. 25 counties have high levels. That's eight more than last week. Just five counties across the state are registered as low community levels. Here in the Midlands, Richland, Lexington, Kershaw, Fairfield, Newberry, and Saluda all have high community levels of spread. Health officials say that people in high community levels should wear a mask in public, especially in indoor settings. Today, the federal government is ending its free at-home COVID-19 test program. They say this is due to a lack of funding, as well as an effort to preserve supply ahead of an anticipated fall surge in cases. Both the White House and the website where you can get your tests blame Congress for failing to provide additional funding for the program. The program has provided up to 16 free tests per household since the beginning of the year. The Biden administration says they would be willing to resume distribution of free tests if and when Congress allocates additional funding.